The Colombian Exchange. A world transformed. The Colombian Exchange, a term coined by historian Alfred W. Crosby, refers to the widespread transfer of plants, animals, diseases, and cultures between the Old World, Europe, Asia, and Africa, and the New World, the Americas. Following the voyages of Christopher Columbus in the late 15th century, this exchange had profound and lasting consequences for the global balance of power, human health, and the environment. One of the most significant aspects of the Columbian Exchange was the introduction of new crops and animals to both sides of the Atlantic. From the Old World, Europeans brought wheat, barley, rice, sugar, horses, cattle, pigs, and sheep to the Americas. These new species transformed the agricultural landscape of the New World, providing a more diverse and nutritious food supply. In return, the Americas introduced corn, potatoes, tomatoes, chocolate, and tobacco to the Old World. These crops had a profound impact on global agriculture and diets, contributing to population growth and economic development. However, the Colombian Exchange also had devastating consequences for indigenous populations in the Americas. European diseases such as smallpox, measles, and influenza were introduced to the New World, causing widespread death and decimating entire civilizations. The indigenous populations lacked immunity to these diseases, making them particularly vulnerable. This demographic catastrophe, combined with the disruption of traditional ways of life and the enslavement of indigenous peoples, led to the decline and disappearance of many Native American cultures. In addition to the exchange of plants, animals, and diseases, the Columbian Exchange also facilitated the transfer of cultures and ideas. European colonization of the Americas led to the imposition of European languages, religions, and social structures on indigenous populations. This cultural exchange was often accompanied by violence and oppression, as Europeans sought to dominate and exploit the resources of the New World. However, it also led to the emergence of new cultures and identities, as indigenous peoples adapted to the challenges of colonization and incorporated elements of European culture into their own traditions. Three Ways to Levitate a Magic The Art of Levitation The ability to defy gravity and suspend objects in midair has captivated the human imagination for centuries. In the realm of magic, levitation is a particularly impressive feat, often associated with supernatural powers or divine intervention. While the true nature of magic remains a mystery, this essay will explore three potential methods for levitating objects in a magical context. The first method for levitating a magic object involves the manipulation of energy fields. According to some theories, the universe is permeated by invisible energy fields that can be harnessed and controlled by those with magical abilities. By focusing their energy on an object, a magician may be able to create a force field that counteracts the force of gravity, causing the object to levitate. This method is often associated with ancient Eastern philosophies, such as Taoism and Buddhism, which emphasize the importance of energy manipulation and spiritual cultivation. A second method for levitating a magic object involves the use of spells and incantations. In many magical traditions, spells are believed to be powerful verbal formulas that can invoke supernatural forces. By reciting a specific incantation or performing a ritual, a magician may be able to summon a force that can lift an object into the air. This method is often associated with Western magical traditions, such as Wicca and Hermeticism, which place great emphasis on the power of words and symbols. A third method for levitating a magic object involves the manipulation of the fabric of reality itself. Some theories suggest that reality is not fixed and unchanging, but rather a malleable substance that can be altered through magical means. By focusing their attention on a particular object and visualizing it as being suspended in midair, a magician may be able to bend the laws of physics and cause the object to levitate. This method is often associated with more esoteric forms of magic, such as chaos magic and astral projection, which explore the limits of human consciousness and the nature of reality.